Good morning, guys. Listen to listen to the background that I have this morning. It's just amazing the amount of birds that are singing this morning. Really interesting. And this puts me into into a good mood, you know, to start the day pretty good and to to be creative. And the first thing that I saw right now when I got to, to get my coffee on the balcony, it was a deer just here across. I didn't see it at first because I was kind of sleepy. When I I just heard something jumping. And eventually I managed to, to see it and I just got a few a uh, few seconds with this uh, small camera. Today I'm gonna try to take you up there, that mountain, not like really really on the top, but uh, I'll see how my physical conditions allow me to to get up on that on the mountain. The view is really really nice, the weather is really nice, and we'll see what kind of shots we can get. Hey, so I arrived here at the, at the base of these mountains. The sun is already up, like it's almost 8 o'clock. But because of the those peaks, the height of those peaks, uh, on this side you still cannot see it. But across, you can see that it's already uh, a lot of light on the peaks across. Here it looks... Uh, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more dramatic with those uh, high peaks. I'll try to to see if I can find some composition to take you up there. Not on top probably because it's one hour and a half of a pretty pretty steep. At some point it becomes pretty steep and my physical condition doesn't allow me at this point to go all the way up. I can see a tree here that has some beautiful white flowers. Um, since we don't have a lot of light on this side, I'm gonna see if I can get a shot. I'm using right now the the kit lens that I have with this camera. It's the 19 to 135. It's not the best lens in the world. Uh, it's not very sharp, but it's. It's decent and this is what I have right now. I do have a 100 to 400 millimeters, but right now, because I'm pretty close to these peaks and because the light is coming from behind, um, I might not be able to use it here, but I might use it if I want to shoot across the, on the mountain across. I might use that uh, long lens. But right now, let's see if I can get anything with that. Uh, flower tree that I can see here. I'm gonna put the trees on the left side of the frame and get more of the, of the peak of the mountain. You can see the, the small village in front of me and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to shoot 
see if I can take any any friends on the, of the mountain across because it has more light. Try to to frame that trail that goes up in the mountain and the top of the mountain. It's decent. It's okay. We're gonna try to go a little bit more up because I see some some sun already hitting the right side of the of the mountain. Meanwhile, I was gonna tell you that. This, uh, this location is pretty famous here in Romania and yesterday, because I came here yesterday and I was just scouting and see what I can shoot, what I can do yesterday this trail was full of people I think it was more than 50 people going up going up the mountain so you can't really film too much, you can't really take uh, photos when it's a, pe a lot of people like that. But in those kind of famous locations, uh, what you can do or I, what I, I've done is to, if you can, take an extra day off. Today is Monday, so as you can see this nobody literally on the trail I'm alone by myself at least from what I've seen so far and you have more room to do your your work your creative work in your process because when there's a lot of people no matter how much you would want uh, I don't think you can work fully at your potential, at least not for me. I'm seeing here some rocks and some yellow flowers. Mm. I'm wondering if I can put them in the foreground. If you have like also a lot of photographers but I, I don't see that as a problem to me. I mean, it is full of photographers. Uh, unless you're shooting wildlife. Um, if you're shooting landscape, I don't see it as a, as a big problem. It might be even better if the photographers are open-minded and you can uh, share some experience. Uh, again, I have some flowers here pretty, pretty low. Some white flowers this time. Mm. Might give it a try also here. And if you can see them, they look pretty, pretty nice. Just to give you an idea, right now we are like at 513 meters altitude. It's not like very, very high mountain, uh, but because it's very steep, it looks pretty high and it feels pretty high because uh, you need to have a pretty good uh, physical condition to to climb. Um, so yeah, 500 meters where I am, and you can see uh, still a lot to to go if you want to reach the peak. So probably it's I don't know, maybe a thousand two hundred, a thousand three hundred. Uh, I'll try to put it on the screen once I I document myself and I find exactly the the height. Look at the views from here, and I'm just at 500 meters right now. Beautiful, beautiful views. And the village behind. 
Nice, we're gonna try to climb a little bit more. I see some trees there on top of the rocks that are, uh, they have pretty good light. I'm, I, will, I think I'll try, but I might put a filter. Might be interesting. I just need to get really low and I see some poop here. Probably a deer. I see some bird, birds here just in front of me in those bushes but I don't have my long lens on right now I'll just try to see if I can get a shot with this lens Just a few minutes after and the sun is hitting pretty pretty high on this side. Uh, I'll try to back off a little bit because if I go more I think to the right. Um bam bam bam. Try to back off. I think. I can have a better view. I don't have a good foreground here. That's the problem. It's too bushy, too crowded. I have a bit of light here on the left, on just the top of the of that peak, and the foreground is a little bit more clean, less bushy, some just some grass. I might try this one. Let me see. Maybe I'll put you in the grass a little bit too low. I wish I had a rock, like a big rock to use as a foreground. You have to be here for around those big rocks just to um, just check first. If there's no creatures. Because sometimes they, I mean a lot of times, they, they hide and they come out in the sun from underneath those rocks. Mm. There's another one up there, I'll try that one. think I'll come again, for sure. And next time I want to go all the way up. Uh, hopefully I'll be in a better physical condition to go all the way up. Imagine what a view from there. That would be awesome. Awesome. Let's see this rock here.
Maybe I can find some flowers instead of a rock. Let's see here, I see some purple stuff. Okay, so let's see if I can go. Um, those yellow flowers are pretty really interesting there, but uh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's try. I'm gonna walk carefully here because this rocks the. They might be home for somebody. I don't want to have surprises. Okay. That might work. Let me see if I can. Go a little bit more higher for another one. It's really nice uh, light here on top of this trees and rock. Hope you can see. Let me see what I can combine it with. Small rock here, grass. Maybe with this rock, I don't know. Whenever I finish a, a shooting, a photography session, I like to take some moments and just just admire the, the views without using any camera and listen to the sounds. Well, right now it's a lot of activity in the village and you can see chainsaws and other. But other than that, just trying to to hear the birds, to hear the wind, and yeah, just just relax. Use the other senses that humans have to to immerse into into the environment. It was pretty pretty tough today in the morning because it wasn't a much it wasn't a lot of light uh, on this side of the mountain where I came. Uh, and my camera is not specifically good in, in low light, 
but you know you have to deal with what you have um, and find find solutions and find um, um, creative ways to to create art well I'll show you some pictures also from yesterday during uh, my scouting it was yesterday it was pretty harsh light uh, mainly I used uh, the filter the CPL filter to make it a little bit less harsh So yeah, I hope you, you enjoyed this session. I hope you get inspired because there are so many places, I'm sure even where you are, there are so many beautiful places that need to, to be explored. Here in Romania we have lots of them and I just hope I can find the time to, to go to, to each and every place. Yeah, until next time. Um, Stay safe and uh, see you. Bye-bye.